Joseph Milk from Liberia found a home and a job in Tunisia after crossing the Sahara Desert five years ago, hoping to save enough money for an illegal boat ride to Europe. Instead, he ended up at this informal migrant camp in Tunis. Milk said his life changed in February when Tunisian President Kaye Saied denounced illegal migration, suggesting sub-Saharan African migrants were changing the country's demographic makeup. My boss told me to leave the work, the house I was staying in, uh, the, the house owner told me to leave the house, so everything changed and I, I became homeless. Tunisia's government denies claims it is carrying out collective expulsions. Rights groups and media reports say Tunisian authorities last month sent hundreds of other African migrants to the desert near the border with Libya after clashes with locals in the southern city of Sfax. That didn't stop the European Union from striking a deal with Tunisia to control illegal migration to its shores, prompting a warning from human rights advocates. Pushing for this cooperation and more uh, control on migration can only lead in this context to more abuse against uh, black migrants, but also Tunisians. Critics accuse Tunisia's government of fostering a climate of hate and violence against sub-Saharan African migrants, which authorities deny. To see people feeling unwelcomed and attacked in my country, for me, is, is, is very heartbreaking. VOA is protecting the identity of this migrant from the Democratic Republic of Congo. He says he's afraid to leave his Tunis apartment after being stopped by police despite having legal papers. At the Tunis camp, African migrants rely on the kindness of strangers and begging to get by, unable to move on and unwilling to return home. Lisa Bryant for VOA News, Tunis.